Hi YouTube, today's video is gonna be about how I start vegetable plants from my garden. The ones that I start first every year are onion seeds. They generally can be started 10 to 12 weeks before the last frost date. Where I live, the last frost date is around the middle of end of April, so I can start my onion seeds around now. So I'm actually growing three varieties of onion seeds and I'm gonna share those with you. So the first ones, I'm not sure really honestly how to pronounce them, but they're like Cipollini, I think, onions. Um, the second one are ruby red onions. The last one are the Southport white globe onions. The way you choose onions for your own area is to determine where you live in the US. So the bottom half of the US is uh, what's called the short day onion zone, and then the next area is called the intermediate zone, and then the top is the long day onion. So I kind of live in between the uh, intermediate and the long day onion zone. So I generally grow onions that grow in that zone. Now one of these onion packs is something that is not for my zone, but I'm gonna try growing it anyway because I got the packet as part of a grab bag. So since I have, I'm gonna try. The only problem with growing an onion that is not in your, like it's not in the area that you should be growing, like if mine is intermediate, is that it might not bulb. But I figured even if it doesn't bulb, I could use it as a green onion and maybe it will bulb, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Growing onions from seed is probably the most economical way of doing it. You have a couple other options. Uh, one is doing growing onions by sets, which where you can buy little baby onions and you can plant those. And I generally have not had any luck with those. So I've pretty much given up on growing onions from sets. The other option is to um, buy onion plants and you can usually find them in your Home Depot, Lowe's, or um, even we have like a Southern States that sells them, um, but they're, a little bit more costlier option. So I feel like this is, you know, the most cheapest way of doing it. So I start my onions inside and early. And if you see from this packet, a lot of them have like 200, 250 uh, seeds in each pack. So that's definitely more than enough onions. And depending on the kind of onions you buy, they can actually store for a long time. Sweeter onions tend not to store as long, but the ones that are not sweet tend to store longer. You do have to go through like a curing process, but then you can, last time like I hung them in my basement and they stayed for quite a while. So for a few months, I did not have to go buy any onions. Um, so I really definitely like growing them and keeping them, not to mention that I do not put any chemicals on my vegetables. So I feel like this is a way of growing basically organic vegetables for a lot less. Um, so I, the whole seed process for me is pretty inexpensive. I go about this, you know, like I said, there's probably um, any anything that you choose to do, you can spend a lot more money on it. So I try to be really economical and try to do it the cheapest way that I can. The way that I start my onions is that I uh, basically save containers from like household food items. So this is a mushroom uh, tray that I got at Costco. So it's a pretty nice size tray, but you could use a couple trays. And then this was one that I had um, blueberries in, so you can use that also. And then I do have some just regular seed starting trays, but you do not have to use a seed starting tray to put this in. You know, there's a lot cheaper ways of doing this. Um, the seed starting mix I got from Home Depot and I bought like a really large bag for about $13, $14 and I will insert a picture of it. So you can see what the mix looks like or what the packaging looks like. And then the tray that I keep these in is just an aluminum foil tray that I picked up from the um, dollar store. So it's a pretty economical way of doing this. And the most important thing really about the seeds is once you put the seeds in here, I usually, um, just kind of fluff them with like a fork to move them around. But the most important um, thing about most, like all vegetables really, is when you plant these seeds, you want to do what's called bottom watering, which means you water right into the tray rather than watering into here. So all of these containers have holes at the bottom. And if they didn't have holes, I put holes at the bottom. And so they will actually suck up the water from the bottom and that doesn't disturb the seeds at the top. So that's like the best way that you can, um, you know, grow the seeds and you're not disturbing them. The other really good thing about onions is that you can grow them in a pan like this. And it doesn't matter, you don't need to have them in individual cells because they pull apart really easily. They do not, um, they, they basically, 
even they might be in clumps, they're easily to, they're easy to separate and then you can plant them individually into the ground. So you can use one big tray or multiple trays and clump them all together because when you get ready to plant them, they will pull apart. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something. Please like and subscribe to my channel and help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you.